Speaker fan, what's going on? It's your boy Jake back with another real versus fake review, man. I think it's been three years since I've done a Travis Scott six video. Uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. And just looking at it, I'm like super impressed. Just starting with the box, even though they're different shades and everything like that. I think the boxes are the exact same size. And the last time I seen that was like when the Travis Scott sixes first came out. Um, and they had the boxes that were the same size. So it's possibly the same factory. Because the other one that I had, or the other two or three that I had was, um, they had the smaller size box. So, of course, the legit is at the top, of course, with the, uh -oh, I'm sorry, with the uh, yellowing of the label, the box label. And that is the, fake pair right here you still see a difference in the quality of the box but and of course the different shade of green olive green we pull these things here out see what's going on here all right let's pull these babies out everything has the the black carbon type paper and then the white wax paper how the legits come shoes look really really good let's see if they get oh box is falling apart on me hold on here all right <clears throat> uh, we'll take a look inside oh that's the extra set of laces i just hit my camera is there anything else in here? There's the uh, QC sticker, no YDM in here. Uh, let's get that out the way. Put that here. One, two. I got to remember everything about this shoe. Same here, here. Same thing here. Carbon paper is not, it's this more as a uh, matted flat finish second paper if you're legit checking this stuff everything just looks older on just old and worn out on these pairs they're years old so you see here this one um ydm has the sticker qc sticker and yes i got them from goat back in the day all right, now I'm gonna delete them comments. I'm about how you know your shoes from gold iron. You probably fake you. You can't trust them. It's like, man, I don't want to hear none of that. All right, stare down time. If you can't see it here with the lighting and everything tad bit darker but excuse me also disclaimer this is for legit checking purposes only legit checking purposes only this is not for calling people out or anything like that like i said this shoe is still going for 600 bucks or something like that so you don't want to spend 600 bucks on that when you're getting like a cheap rep you know what i mean low cost rep so that's it all right so um, we're going to do a 360 on this bad boy. I think this is one of the better Travis Scott's that I've gotten. Definitely one of the better Travis Scott's. Um, like I said, it's a lighter shade, but the material is good. Transitional suede or new buck, which everyone looks at. We take a look at the canvas on the tongue. Hopefully I can refresh my memory on these shoes because, man, they have to have the little nipple in the back. Just a little piece of plastic that would stick out here. Um, okay, and these don't have it. So that's another good thing. Because usually that's how it is. A uh, new school shoe tree, right? It has that Cactus Jack on the inside. Everything is pretty much replicated, which everyone should know. And of course, the says that right here and i wonder if something that was on the tongue 
that you're supposed to look for. But also you want to hear that snap, that pop. The other ones weren't like that. Of course, got the sicko face here. All right. Like I say, just, just a shade lighter. Should have been a little bit darker. I don't even remember if these glow in the dark. I don't know. Totally lost. So you can see here, it has that nice uh, shade to it, darker shade. Not that much transition on it. The Nike Air branding. You see here that snap. That's what everyone wants to hear. I don't know if these had the new school shoe tree. It's, yes, it does. New school shoe tree. Uh, let's take a look here. QF8L. This one says Q88R. Uh, this one says die cut sock liner. This one has absolutely nothing on it. Take a look at the laces, lace bags. So, it's fake, legit, different shade of yellow, a different texture of the laces. This is the retail. That's the fake. You can see the difference uh, in the laces. The lace bags are the same size, surprisingly. Pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Uh, definitely has the 3M. That air unit looks a little suspect on the inside if it's legit checking. Let's take a look at the air unit on the retail pair. Of course, it's all foggy now. I think you put a heat gun on it and it'd be absolutely fine. Let's take a look under the shoe. Retail, <clears throat> fake is up top. It's just all like different colors. You know, you can see it here. And then I'm gonna go back to the uh, rear of the shoe again. Take a look at the Nike Air branding and everything. But before I put the shoe tree back in, let's take a look at the insole. Usually has the Jordan 11 insole here jordan 11 insole cardboard footbed this one is going to be hard to see because of the tongue let me see if i can move it to the side there you go cardboard footbed with the stamp you see that all right this shoe seems a little bit wider a little scaled just a little bit <clears throat> got here is I could put an older insole in here so this is the retail this is the Fugazi it's like like a stiff harder this one's like flimsy like it has some give like give you some support some cushioning so that's 12 Nike Air branding there you go and of course we'll look inside you see that cardboard footbed inside. While I'm there, here's the production date. Got the SZ factory, and the date is 4619 to 7819. It's absolutely crazy. It's been that long. It's been that long. Crazy. It's crazy that he's been uh, affiliated with Nike and Jordan brand that long as well. That's absolutely insane. So then I turn these around. I'm gonna take a look at them here. I put this together here. Put this shoe back together. You guys catch something that uh, I missed? Please do not hesitate to point them out. I'm sure there's plenty of things I pointed out in my previous videos, but listen, I. I didn't take a refresher course. Also, the uh, the toes, the toes are completely different. But it looks like the the uh, the reps won't hurt your feet because they look like they're built a little bit wider. So, 
and you guys probably won't be able to see it, but on the retail pairs, this trim, depending on the photos, it looks gray. Like, it'll look gray. And you can see it's just green here. It looks green. So it's, it's strange how it looks on the cameras because on photos, it's like, is that is that gray trim? But it's not. So, I'll... okay. It's like a brownish type. You can see it there. It's weird. So now you're taking a look at the back. You see it's a lighter, lighter green, olive green. Take a look at the silhouette. The spoiler, a different plastic on the spoilers. Take a look at the embroidering on the rear. So there you have it. Usually that can be easily fixed uh, if you want that color to be darker, I guess. A little mink oil, I guess. You know? Like the embroidering looks pretty good. A little close to it. There you go. All right, so with all that being said, we take a look at the medial side. Got the 3M, right? So let me go ahead and look at the toe and the outsole. Not too bad. Not too bad on this one. I looked bigger on the angle that I was on, but see, this one's a tad bit different. The toes are different on 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 the on the, uh, on the reps on the shoe front toe. All right, all right. So let's get on with it. We're gonna weigh these bad boys. Weigh in black light. Trusty scale out. Make sure everything's all plugged in, ready to go. All right, we're zeroed in. We got left shoe here. One pound, 6.6 .6 ounces. One pound, 7.4 ounces. This is with a lace bag, one pound, 8.2. There's no lace bag on this one, and I would throw a lace in here. One pound, 6.8. One pound, 7.2. It's like 10 ounces heavier. All right, so that's done and out of the way. We get the black light out here. Black light these bad boys and see what's going on. Let's see how much dark I could get this. All right, let's see how these beauties look under the black light. So we have the lace lock and it doesn't click. And the jump man is glowing under, it's an aqua look. And you see the 3M is reflecting uh, on the inside. At least from my angle it is. From my vantage point it is. Let's take a look at this. So you can see. You see they were different colors without the black light. You can see it now that they're two different shades. This is more of a green. And this is more of like a a blue, like an aqua, well, like a teal. Can't even get that color right, but and yes, they do glow in the dark. <laughs> I was losing my mind. Yeah, so you can see them glowing in the dark. So they hit them real hard. I think it was the uh, British khaki that glowed in, in, in more spots. So, yeah, they are glowing. All right. You don't see much different here. Lace lock. Jump man. Rear spoiler. Stitching's glowing. You don't see anything. You see that 3M reflecting. Reflecting. And, um, all right. Everything looks pretty good. 
It's one of the better versions. I think this is the same factory from the ones I had seen a while ago. That's pretty cool. All right. That's it. You see it. You see it. Like I said, if you guys, you know, point out all the other differences that I missed, like maybe I missed that square around the snap, which looks pretty good. So, yeah, it's those, those, those little things that I probably overlooked and didn't remember. So 15 minutes in, I'm done. Appreciate you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out. Appreciate you guys. Peace.